bit about Solana. Solana has a critical level that it needs to hold now, and it seems it's just there clinging by a thread. Now, we were looking at Solana previously. I had made videos about Solana saying that it moved, it moved from the lows over here of about $8, uh, December 22 lows, and we moved up possibly in a wave one, and we were expecting Solana to pull back for wave two. Now, if Solana moved up in a wave one, we wouldn't want it to lose the support of a wave two because that then invalidates. The support of wave two comes down uh, all the way down to $12, $12 and about uh, $12 and one cent. But we held the 0.618 almost perfectly over here. Well, the 0.618 is at 15.33. We came down to around 15.9. Now, we go to the macro count, uh, micro count, and we look at what it's done after that. So obviously we came here, we pulled back for a two, we would say, and we're expecting a big wave three up. Is the wave two down? Possibly, but maybe not. It could, it's, it's taking too long for wave two, but uh, this looks very corrective. Look like one, two, three, and then we have another push up, and then we might have another push down uh, to the 0.618 or even the 0.786, uh, I showed you down to $12.01, then move up. It will still be a valid move. Now, if Solana wants to rotate from here and move to the upside, it really needs to do this. For starters, it needs to hold this low. It doesn't have to break this. And uh, I would prefer if it even doesn't break the $19 range. And what to watch for in the short term. <clears throat> Now, if we assume Solana is in somewhat a wave one, which looks very funny to me, uh, it could be a one, two, three, and then a four, and we're going up for a five in this micro count. Solana needs to hold the $19.8 up to the 18.1. Losing the 18.1 will be detri detrimental for Solana. I do have a support at 18.343 or 363, 18.3, let's say. And uh, if we lose that, that wouldn't be good. It would mean the count is, uh, is going possibly lower, taking this low from here, the December lows, to the highs, and then coming down in the 2 to the $12 range. Now, purely trading fixed range volume profiles. We have this range up here, and I pulled the uh, fixed range profile, and we can see we are at the value area low over here the 20.9 or the 21 dollar range if you lose that then you need to zoom out and look at this bigger fixed range volume profile of the entire bottom range for solana and that would show you that you have lost the value area high sitting at 22.8 that would be your somewhat resistance so you're essentially between 22.8 and 21 dollars you have lost the 22.8 in this big fixed range volume profile and you be coming down to the point of control at around $13.6. If Solana doesn't rotate, I was looking at the Bitcoin dominance, which might be promising for some altcoins as it shows some topping off in BTCD, uh, Bitcoin dominance. So this essentially is showing you the Bitcoin dominance. So when Bitcoin dominance is topping off and it's going to rotate down, come down, that gives you what you would call an altcoin season for some time. So you look, whenever Bitcoin dominance uh, would come here, not every time, but you can see several times when we get to this 47 range, we tend to pull. You could see here. We spiked up, we got to around the 48, and we had a drop. Again, 47.7, drop. Over here, 48.4, drop. And now we spiked at around 48.9. And that could be another drop. This, if you were trading this even on the one minute, this would be an indication you need to go short. So if BTCD, this is on the weekly, we have this, if we lose this floor at around 46.8, we have this big insufficiency candle on the weekly. 
So if we lose that, we'll be coming down lower. And as BTCD pulls down Solana, other altcoins, maybe Ethereum and other low cap coins and mid cap coins will be pumping. So some people would say, okay, when BTC dominance is at its high, it's going to peak. I'm going to load up on altcoins because I expect BTC dominance to tank or at least have a pullback and push my altcoin bags up. That's just a way of, it's just a thought, not financial advice. But of course, if Bitcoin starts pumping, everything else usually moves with Bitcoin as well. All right, hope you liked the update on Solana. If you did, hit the likes and subscribe to the channel. And if you like, please join the Discord. It's totally free. We're building a small community there. We're growing in numbers slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, hope you liked it. More trades, I'm out.